welcome to a packed episode of The Property Show, the weekly real estate guide. Our focus today is on the cream de la cream collection of properties. You'll be spoiled for choice from our bus tour routes in Kilimani, Keleleshwa and Lavington areas to the just concluded expo highlighting flooring materials, roofing technology, interior decor solutions and natural wastewater treatments. Later on the show, we look at fast internet solution, energy saving bulbs, and home ownership inspired by relentless faith. Catch all this and much more, and remember there is something for everyone. The Expo has always been the property and investment platform bringing together developers, buyers, as well as introducing new projects in the market whilst closing business deals. The Up Market Homes Expo is the must attend event for anyone serious about acquiring or selling property in Kenya. The fun, educative, informative and thrilling expo that ran for three days from 24th to 26th February took off with a speech from the Cabinet Secretary for Lands and Housing, Professor Jacob Kaimeni. Expo was quite interesting, attracting local developers from Mombasa, Kajiado, Nairobi area and Uganda. We kick off with one of its kind premier horse riding lodge located at the beautiful and captivating Maasai countryside. Let's see what they have to offer. Located at the beautiful landscape and captivating Maasai countryside of Oloi Bosoit, two and a half hours drive from Nairobi is the Oloi Bosoit Equestrian Estate and Lodge. The Serena Estate sits on a thousand acres of land. The lodge consists of five-star lodge with an international conference facility, international grade steakhouse with Maasai cuisine, family restaurant, spa, hiking activities, horse riding training school, modern horse stables complex and world-class horse research facility. The lodge also comprises of two villas, eight bedrooms each. This lodge is expected to provide horse riding holidays as well as a wide array of packages, hill climbing with international bush spa, conference center, a Maasai steakhouse and a horse breeding facility plus much much more. Next, a new luxury development within the Lake Victoria Serena Golf Resort, PAL Residences, offering a five-star hotel and spa with a championship golf course and a marina clubhouse. Let's watch. Residences, situated on the shores of Lake Victoria within Kigo, Wakiso district of the southern region of Uganda. The Lake Victoria Serena Golf Resort is a short 40 minutes drive from Entebbe International Airport. The Pearl Residences has four levels of villas, penthouses and apartments. The amenities include open plan lounge and dining area, 
modern kitchen with top of range fitted appliances, spacious bedrooms all en suite, study room, guest bathroom, detached servants quarter, laundry area, state of the art security and intercom system, home automation and piped music. At the Pearl Residences, you expect nothing but a five-star experience. Let's take a sneak peek into a gated community with exclusive designs offering relaxation by the pool and a lot of green areas, Sunset Paradise Apartments. Sunset Paradise Holiday Homes located off the Mombasa Malindi Highway comprise of 80 apartments of one, two and four bedroom tastefully furnished apartments offering affordable luxury. Accommodation includes spacious lounge opening to the balcony, dining area, kitchen, utility area, two bedrooms share a common bathroom, master bedroom ensuite, built-in wardrobes in all rooms, ensuite detached servants quarter, wrought iron and wide windows for ventilation. These apartments are located in the prime area of Serena Beach of Mombasa, giving value for money. If you are looking for that right property, at First Avenue we have an array of residential homes of all shapes and sizes. Our footprint ensures we can offer the best of whatever you're looking for. Start your property search with us today. The chief guest, Honorable Kaimeni, encouraged Kenyans to visit Expos for best local and international property deals. Let's hear more. We believe as a government, it's not possible for us to work alone. We need very strong public-private partnerships so that we can improve the socio-economic status of our people. With the stability of Kenyan's real estate market, which continues to show a clear sustainable growth, this expo is evidently one of the most exciting show yet. I saw that from the managing director, exciting show. And one of the key objectives of the exhibition also is to provide consumers and real estate professionals from here and around the world with one-stop shop opportunity. That means when you come here, the understanding is that um, you take the advantage from the best property deals, they say locally and internationally. If I went across the border to Uganda, because I've seen a Ugandan exhibitor here, or if I went to South Africa, the deal that I'm getting here, is it really competitive in terms of pricing in terms of quality. If the answer is, is yes, then when you talk about best deals, I can understand. And that's how it should be. In other words, we are saying, as a nation, what makes us unique? The government, through my ministry, is currently working on an effective way to access affordable land for infrastructure development through value index registration. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to certain countries, there's something called Land Value Index. And you'll find that in towns, in cities, there's zoning using a certain index. And when you use that index, you should be able to tell the price of that particular land in a given place. 
And that's the way we want to go. One of the consequences, of course, of uh, increasing population, and we are not an, uh, an exception to that uh, extent, and the other problem, of course, of urbanization is to create a serious housing deficit. Now, as I was telling some of you, the demand for housing in this country, for Hanam, is estimated to be over 250,000 units per annum in urban areas. So you people are wonderful. Make sure that you give us affordable, affordable houses. Because if you look at our constitution, it is very clear that housing, to own a house, is a fundamental human right. A fundamental human right, and therefore if it is fundamental, we want to make sure that as many Kenyans as possible own houses. Other developers present at the upmarket Homes Expo were Superior Homes, Caribou Homes and Pinnacle Projects, as well as ORB, Energy Solar Solutions. up with the seamless and fast digital 4G experience, changing the way we browse. What is the big box? Now, the big box, it's a modem that gives you wireless connectivity to the internet at home and it also gives you access to television content, free to air channels which you can enjoy at your convenience in addition to the internet that you'll be enjoying. Now what's special about the Big Box is Big Box is a 4G internet uh, modem. It has the capabilities to give you internet speeds of 4G and you can share it among several users because it's a wireless device. So being a wireless device, you'll be able to connect it to the internet, you'll be able to load bundles on it, you'll be able to share these bundles within your home and you can connect it at home to your TV, you can stream content, you can be able to connect it probably to other gadgets within the home that use the internet and you'll be enjoying fantastic uh, speeds of 4G within your home. So that makes it special because many of the TV boxes that you find within the country, they only give you content. And in fact, if you look at some of them provided in the market, it basically means that you have to get a box. Then you look for a different internet connectivity which you have to use within your home. So why have all that trouble? All you need to do is to get the big box. You'll be able to get internet and TV content at the same time. We have several offers running right now and we'll be having several running continually throughout the rest of the year. We are and will continue to ensure that we have the best of handsets from the leading handset manufacturers and brands of uh, devices. For example, we have, we work closely with Samsung, we work closely with Huawei, we work closely with Wiko, we work closely with uh, Techno, we work closely with Lenovo, we work closely with Alcatel. And we also have Apple devices, different and the latest iPhones that are in the market currently, iPhone 7. And uh, we also have our Safaricom brand, the Neon uh, family of handsets, for example, which includes the Neon uh, Kicker and also the Neon Turbo. We will continue to have these offers. We have the best of prizes. We have the best support in terms of if you're having any issues or you want any support with your handset, we'll ensure we provide you with the same. So when you buy your handset from us, you get peace of mind. You're sure you're buying genuine. You're sure you're buying a handset that will serve you on 4G well and that you can enjoy the service for a long time to come. I would tell anybody on 3G internet to make sure that they upgrade and get on 4G because they are missing an amazing experience that we are providing. They will never turn back once they do that. Um, they will experience convenience in terms of ease of using the internet to work, to entertain themselves, 
probably to share uh, information, photos, content, whatever they want to do on the internet. And it's going to be at lightning speed. So if they do that, they're going to be enjoying an amazing experience. And it's very easy. All you have to do is have the right uh, uh, device that uh, will give you capabilities to access the 4G uh, network. Then in addition, get the right SIM card uh, on your phone and that's all you have to go. You just load your bundles, enjoy the experience and you'll never regret it. to get hurt. I'm doing my best, bro. You need to remember that chapo day with mom, remember? Let me send you a video. But I can't wait. You have it. Watch it. We come together as a team and fight for this club. What? Do things faster. Do things Safaricom 4G. The fast just got faster. Shift to 4G and experience fast internet speeds. At the expo, we also caught up with CTM Kenya, a leading ceramic floor and tile company. Let's watch. We specialize in tiles, bathroom fittings, bathroom accessories. And we offer a full range of solutions. We offer you the deco options, like what we have here. And we also offer the adhesives, cleaning substances, and everything that you need to finish your home. So here, this is a sample selection of some of the deco options that we offer you. This is our range of mosaics. We give you a range, it's a mixture of, you can either have a glass and stone option, you can have an all stone option, and you can also have a pebble lookalike option. This is just a sample of what we offer. Here, we also have a sample of our bathroom cabinets, which is another option that we offer. On the floor here, in front of you, is one of our sample tiles. And this is also our range. And like I had said earlier, we offer you a unique range because we have some of the samples here. It gives you a look like a natural stone, but not exactly the stone. So it gives you that whole natural rustic sort of finish. For your housing and we also give you a nice selection of our bathtubs our toilets and also our sinks so we offer you a full range so here is a demonstration of one of our mosaics this would add color and life to your bathroom and there's two or several ways you can actually fit it you can either fit it as an entire sheet as it is or you can even just cut it into strips and have it like a border running around your bathroom and then the gaps here, you accentuate it by putting in the different colored grouts, which we also supply, and we would be able to recommend what goes with it. From a quality aspect, if fitted properly and once fitted, you should have no problem with it coming off the wall, unless of course you get tired and you decide that you want to break it and you want to do something new. We offer you a very, very unique range of tiles. This here is one of our samples of our wood look tile. It looks like actual wood, but it's actually a tile. And this is ideal for your bedrooms, your sitting rooms, your general areas. And it gives you that natural wood look, which blends well with any form of furniture. Here in my hand, I hold one of the range of our mixers. As you can see, it's a very, very unique shape. And this one is specific to us. We are the only ones who stock this. And if you look at the quality and the finish, it's a high quality finish. We import these from Italy and we give you a 10-year warranty on the product. 
Here we have the sample and the range of the different designs of taps that we have. If you're more of the traditional sort of tap, you can have this sort of design or you can have that sort of design. But we also go further as not just giving you the one color, but we can also offer you the same designs in the unique brushed bronze sort of finish, which I can proudly say we are the sole distributors right now of this particular product. Next, EcoSafe Africa Limited, offering natural, efficient wastewater treatment system. Let's listen. Specialization is on waste management and uh, in particular liquid waste management. We specialize on uh, on site waste management. This, in contrast to the centralized waste management, where you have to gather waste together, then treat it at that point. We deal with the waste where it occurs, that is why we call it on site. We have done research and established that there are bacteria that are able to break down all naturally occurring organic material. And that is how we, have, we came up with a product called EcoTreat. It is able to break down the waste wherever it is, break down proteins, carbohydrates, starch, and fats, with the disheartened byproduct being just water and nitrogen and uh, other minerals that would have been there. But the water coming from that process of waste management is very clean water. I would like to show you a sample of such a water. This water from a hotel that has more than 200 looms and the water from their system is treated to this quality and this water can be used for lawn irrigation. It can also be used for cleaning the cabro areas and you can even use it for car wash. It has no smell, no coloration, and there are no obnoxious uh, bacteria that would be harmful to the humans. The benefits of the product is that it's natural. So once you introduce it in your system, it's continuously multiplies in the system. So you don't have to keep on adding every other week or every other month. All you need is to maintain the microorganism in that system. They will flourish in that system. And all you need to do is occasionally to be adding some booster material, just a small quantity of the same, to improve the genetics of the waste breaking process. Besides the waste breakdown material, we have come up with a model which if it was adopted by developers. It would help them manage their waste at whatever level, whether at domestic, uh, estate-wide, or even a municipality. This is a four-chambered septic tank that uh, introduces the concept of bioactivity. You are creating an environment that is suitable for bacteria to work in, and this is fully aerated. So unlike the old systems of septic tank where you have one chamber that has no oxygen completely, our system, we have introduced oxygen because our bacteria is aerobic. It loves being in that well aerated environment. And besides that, we have introduced another chamber, which is called the clarification chamber. This is where wastewater is now purified by use of sand, carbon, and a gravel. And this is what you're seeing here. The black material there is carbon. It is the one that removes coloration from the wastewater. And that's how you're coming up with water of this quality. We have also introduced a normal soak pit that would take away the water. But at the same time, you can also capture your water for reuse from this point. So with this model, at whatever level you want to do it, it will be a wastewater treatment plant, but not a septic tank. And this is what the future of construction. Are you a service provider and you'd like us to highlight your services? Just call on us and we'll be there for you. We take a quick commercial break. When we return, we'll dive into a home ownership journey inspired by relentless faith, plus a ride on our upmarket bus tour route of Kilimani, Kelelesha and Lavington areas. Don't press that dial.
Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Let's catch up with Kenya Power as they continue changing our day-to-day -day lives. This time, it's with energy-saving bulbs. Malaysia Bulb with Kenya Power project is a, is a scaling, scaling up energy project that is involving changing ordinary bulbs with energy saving bulbs. It's being uh, rolled out in the entire country. The Kenya Power Badisha plans to change over 3 million bulbs within the country. Today we are doing Badisha Bulb uh, Kenya Power in Kayole. We've been uh, working in Kayole starting from Soweto and we are almost finishing Kayole today. After we are done with Kayole, we're going to be proceeding on the outskirts uh, or the neighboring areas of Kayole, that is uh, Mihango, Ruai, and uh, Joska. We'll then go back to do Badlisha Bulb on the, on, on the other sides of uh, Umoja. Then that will have completed the Kayole Donom area, after which we'll go to work in Embakasi and Pipeline. Kenya Power customers have been quite uh, pleased and they are happy about the project. They are, of course, they have learned, they know the benefits, they know they are, the bills are going to be low. And uh, in some instances, they also understand the effect it has on um, climate change. And, and, and for those also reading a bit, also understand the element of carbon credits uh, benefit that the government or through Kenya Power, the government could get through the project. Clients are quite happy about it and they would hope uh, that it, it, it continues. And again, we've also informed them that uh, once, uh, because the bulbs that we're giving them are, are quite uh, long lasting, they could last some time, but in case they're not able to work anymore, they would keep buying energy saving bulbs so that they keep their, their bills low. They also hope, of course, if uh, the, the project continues, so that all those who miss on this uh, time can get the opportunity to have the same bulbs another time. Okay, there are so many benefits. The first one is, it reduces the bill, yeah. your bill will go down, that is the first thing. The second thing, you don't buy it, we exchange it for free. The third one, it stores the energy. The fourth one, it's long lasting. Ona furaya yu mwangaza, si kama zile za kawaida, juu zile zina, ziko na brightness, si mzuri. Yee ya leo ni mzuri sana, sana furaya. Kenaiza penda kuambia mwenye anatumia babi ya kawaida, a change to energy saver juu ya bill, siku jemingi. Vile wametupatia wame babi bila kulipa, nina wapongeza tu na ninasema ni asante sana. Badilisha bulb for free na Kenya Power. Exchange your old light bulbs for energy saving bulbs at no cost. Look out for Kenya Power staff with official identification in your neighborhood soon. Kenya Power, powering people for better lives. We shift gears and take a ride on our adventurous bus tour, highlighting fine properties along Kilimani, Keleleshwa and Laviton routes. Our second route was the upmarket, where we visited new neighborhoods in Kilimani, Kileleshwa and Lavington. The properties are Crest Park, Bellcrest Apartments, Kentmere Apartments, Duchess Apartments and Signature Residence. Our first 
top was Crest Park, an off-plan project offering affordable and elegant two and three bedroom apartments. Let's have a look. Crest Park is a prestigious, affordable and elegant off-plan project consisting of two and three bedroom apartments located along Dennis Bridge Road in Kilimani near Yaya Centre. The amenities in the apartments include a spacious lounge, an open plan kitchen leading to the dining area, an ensuite master bedroom, a balcony giving a magnificent view and high speed lifts. These salient features include guards at the gate 24 hours a day, a well-manicured lawn, children's play area, an outdoor gym, outdoor sound system, an intercom, CCTV security cameras at every entrance, underground water tank with a holding capacity of 400,000 litres, a children and adult swimming pool, one parking slot per unit and carbon paved drive through The apartments have been designed to provide space and comfort, creating harmony and improving the quality of life. The project is expected to be completed by June 2017. Our next stop was Belcrest Gardens, an exclusive and secure project. Let's watch. Belcrest Gardens is a prestigious development located along Githunguri Road off Ring Road in Kileleshwa. It comprises of 28 three-bedroom apartments spaciously built with self-contained servant quarters. The development offers a serene environment with breathtaking views of the Nairobi Arboretum. Conveniently located 10 minutes from the Nairobi CBD and 5 minutes from Westlands. Each apartment measures 120 square meters per unit. Accommodation includes spacious lounge leading to the balcony, dining area, open plan kitchen fitted with a pantry, three bedrooms master ensuite with a walk-in closet and jacuzzi, inbuilt wardrobes in all bedrooms, two common cloakrooms, air conditioning, quality, classy and attractive finishes, anti-skid designer ceramic tile flooring, internet and cable TV connections. Next, Kent Mere Valley, luxurious all the way. Kentmere Valley Apartments situated in Kilaleshwa along Githungori Road consisting of spacious lounge opening to the balcony, separate dining room, modern kitchen, pantry room, utility area, guest room en suite, visitor's cloakroom, three bedrooms all en suite with inbuilt wardrobes. The apartment also has DSTV and internet connectivity. Common amenities include 24-hour security, electric fencing, lift services, borehole, water tank, generator, solar water heating, swimming pool, clubhouse, restaurant, children's playground, large common garden, cobra paved parking, and CCTV. Our next stop was Duchess Park, a fine development providing comfort and style. Let's check it out.
Duchess Park Apartments, the ultimate address in the suburbs, providing you superb recreational facilities in the vicinity of your home. Duchess Park is located in the exclusive serene leafy suburb of Lavington along Hathera Road off Kitanga Road. It comprises of 62 apartments, of which 52 are spacious three-bedroom, two large four-bedroom and eight luxurious five-bedroom. This housing project offers everything you ever wanted in an apartment. Accommodation includes spacious living area and spacious balcony with stainless steel railing, visitor's cloakroom, American-style open-plan kitchen, dining areas, utility area, spacious bedrooms with study areas, spacious corridor area with a study area, recessed ceilings with designer skylights, cable internet ready, cable TV, all bedrooms en suite with inbuilt wardrobes, master bedroom en suite with a jacuzzi and domestic seven quarter. Our final stop was at the signature residence, a timeless, elegant and smart home. Signature Residence is smart home providing connectivity, comfort and convenience. The apartments are wired to enable residents to remotely control or program an array of functions in the home such as you can draw the curtains, switch on the lights, lock your doors, turn on the microwave cooker or coffee maker and if you forget to turn off the gas there is an electronic device that detects and prevents gas leakage. All this from the comfort of your phone or tablet. The apartments offer the highest level of security with visual recording of visitors at your door or at the entrance. Besides its incomparable design, Signature offers a dream home with timeless elegance. Signature Residence is located along Winky Road off Oila Tok Tok Road in Kilaleshwa. The development comprises of 110 units, 98 apartments, 13 duplexes and two penthouses. These spectacular apartments are also available fully furnished. Accommodation includes spacious living room with large double glazed windows which are shutterproof, a large dining area, oak laminated floors, washable and paintable wallpaper, beautiful light fittings with dimmer systems, an open-plan kitchen fitted with quartz, countertops, a microwave, cooker, oven, coffee maker, and flood sensor. All bedrooms are en suite with a jacuzzi in the master bedroom. The front door has 15 locks and a sensor, and a self-contained domestic servant's quarters. Salient features include high perimeter wall with laser detectors, 24-hour security with CCTV cameras, parking for two vehicles, solar water heating, borehole, underground water tanks, backup generator, high-speed elevators, aluminium-clad exterior that does not fade, car wash service, swimming pool and gym, and children's playground. Let's hear from some of the participants who took the ride. I would come for another bus tour because uh, of uh, the experience. What is done to my mind, it's opened up my mind in a big way and I'm able to think and start strategizing on how will I get these funds, how will I start owning a home and it's a journey, it's the first baby step of a big journey I guess, yes. The financial and legal experts, so far I've been able to interact with the financial, they've opened my mind in terms of telling me on advantages of taking a mortgage and uh, what it is in for you when you take a mortgage and, and I thought a mortgage ties you down but hey, I've had a different perspective 
on mortgages and uh, it, it opens a door for you. I would advise my friends to come on the bus tour and anyone else who I meet, it's quite an opportunity. And what it does to you, it opens your mind. And you know, once your mind is open, you never know the greater heights that you can reach. So yes, I would invite people to come for the bus tour. I've learned from the experts uh, various things about uh, leasing, subleasing, getting a mortgage versus getting a loan, and um, the legal fees that is required and the documentation, uh, being a cash buyer versus being a mortgage buyer, yes, and the, and the advantages. I would advise everybody to come on the bus tour because seeing it on TV and versus coming here and getting the look, touch, feel is very different, a very different experience and it is enjoyable and you get to talk with the developers and ask questions if you want adjustments and everything else. Why the bus tour? You'll be able to visit different projects and get first-hand information of the neighborhoods. You'll also have an opportunity to interact with legal and financial experts and have your concerns addressed. Let me take this opportunity to thank our developers, participants, financial and legal experts, and the entire team for making the bus tour very, very special. If you're looking to shop or understand the property dynamics, the property show is the place for you. West Point Heights has an open day on the 10th of March. This attractive development caters to every need and provides the ideal home setting. Come get your unit. The home ownership journey is one that is very interesting, fun and very bumpy. Let's get inspired by Reverend Judy Bugwa on her home ownership journey. Reverend Judy Bogwa is founder and current chief executive officer of Home Care Spiritual Fellowship. Reverend Judy is an ordained minister of the gospel, a holder of two honorary degrees in theology and in ministry by the European Theological Seminary, Birmingham, UK. She is also a lecturer at Haggai Institute for Advanced Leadership. Reverend Judy is a woman of great faith and has a great passion for families which led to the birth of Home Care Spiritual Fellowship, whose vision is to pray for families, the nation, and evangelism. Today is about my friend, Auntie Judy, her home ownership journey, spiritual work, and her mentorship program. Karibu sana on the show, Auntie Judy. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. And who is Auntie Judy? Well, uh, Auntie Judy is this lady you see here, but to get here has been a long journey. Yes. Auntie Judy got married when I was a little girl, 18 years. And uh, when I got married, you know those stories that you read when you are a young uh, 
girl, romantic stories. We used to read books by somebody called Denise Robbins that you find somebody who is tall, six feet tall, and my husband is six feet, and you'll be very handsome, and my husband, I think, is handsome, and then he'll marry you, and you live happily ever afterwards. What Denise did not say is that when you get married, children come. So I went back to school with my children, and by the grace of God, I was able to go through high school, and therefore I was able to train as a secretary. And I trained as a secretary. I started working in the Ministry of Finance, and at the end of the month, I was told that I'm going to get a salary with the subordinate staff. And I was looking for the subordinate staff office. I thought subordinate is such a romantic word. <laughs> so when I got there, I saw messengers and drivers. I said, my goodness, I'm not going to be getting salaries with messengers and drivers. So I purposed in my heart, I'm going to be a top secretary. Wow. And I worked towards it. So the next month, I did 35 words a minute, 40 words a minute. And within three, four months, I did 50 words a minute and those were the days when you pass in government you they, are promoted they, they promoted you immediately and backdated your salary to the date you did the exam so that made a lot of difference from subordinate to a copy typist a full copy typist then I said why can't I be a secretary so I went back to school and did short hard again I did 70 words a minute I would book two examinations Pitmans and government, so that in case I fail one, I'll pass the other one. I passed all of them, government and uh, Pitmans, for 70 words, 80 words a minute, 100 words a minute, and 120 words a minute. By the time I did 120 words a minute, uh, another lady called Mary and I were the top in Kenya, in government secretary. Wow. And so in the Ministry of Finance, they said, oh, this girl is doing so well. Now you so are the top secretary. I was the top secretary. And I was promoted within two years from a copy typist to the office of the finance minister then, Honorable Mwai Kebaki. Wow. So that uh, taught me that truly it is possible to fulfill your dream. Then, again, because I married young, I married and lived in the family home. And there's a lot of joy living in the family home, but there's also a challenges, lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. And so I kept telling God, now that you brought me this far, the next request I want, which is major on my list of requests, is my own home. And whenever I have something that I feel is truly a dream, I put it down in writing. So while I was in the treasury working, I would draw a house. I would say, this is the kind of house I want. I want a house where I'll get in, somebody's opening the gate, and then a big house where I can entertain because I love people. And I kept drawing that for quite a while. And in the fullness of time, like the Bible says, God gave me a home like you have seen yes wow we know that home ownership has its own bumps and challenges what are the real bumps that you went through when you were acquiring a home uh, one of them was uh, the fact that it took longer than I wanted but one of the things that my husband and I decided is that we we'll try to work hard and put as much money as possible so that when we get into this home ownership we don't get into it with a very big room so we decided to save some money quite a bit of money so that we really didn't have to borrow we, we had put down what we wanted. For me, as a woman, I was wishing my husband would go to the bank and get all the money. But him being an accountant, he was saying, when we go borrow money, it's going to be very expensive. Let's wait. We still have a house where we were staying, even though it was a smaller house than I wanted. But uh, when we got the money, uh, the next thing that was a big, big bump is to get the property. Because when we got the money, then you, you have an idea where you want to go. And for me, all along, I wanted to go to Karen. Why Karen? Because I'm a leader in the church. And the church that I go to, Sitam Karen, is in Karen. And so I wanted to be near where I go to church. And so uh, to get a property around that area, every time we thought we had enough money, uh, then the, the prices would go up, the prices for land would go up. And that was a big, big challenge. But eventually, by the grace of God, we got land, and we got land exactly where we wanted. 
Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what about building? We also know the process of building. It's mm -hmm. another challenge. Yes. Identifying the right architects, mm -hmm. engineers, and just the entire team yeah. who is going to help you, the contractor, yes. and each one of them. Yes. How did you conquer that? Uh, two things. Number one, the architect was a born-again Christian. In fact, when we were breaking ground for the house, he came with a guitar so that we praise God and say, let's praise God so that he will be the major architect in this building. And truly he became, because when we started to build, uh, my husband had already started practicing building because he had retired. And so we got a good architect. We got my husband involved. So he was doing the purchasing, most of the purchasing. So the architect helped him a lot. And uh, him being there made things very cheap. So you started off with your dream home. Yes. You know a lot of people start off with their Gishagi home, yes. the one you lived, mm -hmm. and then from there you built your dream home. Yes. You went direct. No. <laughs> I started with my Gishagi, not even my Gishagi home. Mm -hmm. I started with the office uh, accommodation because my husband used to work with the railways. So we had a, a house where we were housed by the railways. And then we decided, no, no, no. Judy, you need to go back to school, so we have to go to Geshagi. Luckily, our Geshagi is in Kabete Odheru, and so we went there, we put a small house, so that uh, I would be able to come from there to go to the town yes. and train as a secretary. Yes. But uh, while training as a secretary, because I was a very young mother, my husband would, be, would go back to his uh, office, uh, at that time he was in Adiriba, and so he stayed there, and I'm back home with the children. He will leave us with money to buy food and money to do this and that and the other and bus there for me. Because I was so, so small. I mean, you a are child a myself. Girl. I was a child myself. And I had come from Nakuru where we had a big farm with cows. Me, I didn't know that there are people without cows. So I was used to milk. <laughs> and so the money that my husband would give me for milk, I would buy milk and all of us drank milk. The children had died. So before the end of the month, I had no bus there to go to town. So I couldn't continue with my training. Eventually we bought a typewriter and that's how I trained myself. So we started with the railway housing. Housing accommodated then, by your husband's yes, employer. Yes, mm -hmm. and, then, and that was like even almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then 20... So you lived there for mm -hmm. 10 years? Mm -hmm. About that my, uh, time. And then uh, we, we went to our Geshagi house in Odero. We put a three bedroom house, timber house and we stayed there for like 25 years. And then that is when we were now saving for our dream house. Wow. At this point wow. then, the children also had gone from home. Yes. They had gone through school. So it was easier for us to save. Next week, we continue this inspiring home ownership journey. Many are asking, is this the ideal time to stake your claim on the perfect home? Join me next week for a highlight of the property outlook, especially during an election year, and a collection of affordable homes, as well as hidden gems changing the property landscape. Interact with us on our social media channels and let's keep this conversation going. Thank you for watching. Remember, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!